This is Nelson Olmstead, and I'm here to tell you how high school education gets off the ground in Crescent City, California. Before I do, here's Clint Gruber speaking for Pacific Power. Welcome once again to Stories of Pacific Powerland, a presentation of Pacific Power and Light, a company that has been serving the electric needs of the region's homes, farms, and industries through more than half a century of progress and growth. Now, if we have the go-ahead from the tower, Nelson, let's take off. In 1953, Charles Toonan learned to fly. This event marked a notable change in the Crescent City, California, Del Norte County High School. You see, Charles Toonan, who was then principal of the high school, got together with his friend Don Clausen, a former World War II pilot who was known as California's flying congressman, and formulated an extraordinary plan. Principal Toonan said, well, <clears throat> Learning to fly has opened my eyes to a lot of things, Don. Uh, there's no reason why high school students aren't capable of learning to operate an aircraft. I've been thinking in terms of a flying club at the school. Well, now you're talking, Charlie. But let's take it a step further. Why not make aviation a regular part of the school's program? Well, I'd like to start out unofficially. Uh, we'll see what the response is, and we'll go from there. Well, through the cooperation of the Crescent City Airport Manager... A few high school students were enrolled for flight training as an out-of-school project. And educator Charles Toonan quickly became aware of something. He said, Well, it follows, as the night the day, when the student becomes interested in aviation, he begins to recognize the practical use of such things as mathematics and physics, and his grades in these related subjects turn upward rather dramatically in many cases. Well, at the urging of Charles Toonan and Representative Don Clausen, the high school established a class for credited ground school aviation. The flying club continued with flight training for a nominal fee, which barely covered expenses. For about a year, the fledgling aviation school tried its borrowed wings. And then along came a full-fledged eagle in the person of a Klamath, California lumberman named Don McMillan, who said, I want to see these young people learn to fly and fly right. I'm going to donate an airplane to the cause. If anyone asks... Just tell him it's from an air-minded graduate who is grateful for the things the school did for him. Well, the donated Piper Super Cub helped raise the status of aviation training at Del Norte High to full curriculum standing. Meantime, parents of students who had been struggling along with mediocre grades beamed as their youngsters displayed new interest and enthusiasm for schoolwork. Well... The aviation education program at Del Norte County High School succeeded by dint of hard work, faith, and very little fanfare. The Northern California School became the first in the entire nation to offer flight training to its students. Federal Aviation Administration approval followed, and more and more students signed up for classes. As Charles Toonan, who became high school superintendent, stated proudly, one of our graduates is a jet flight instructor for the Air Force. Another is a commercial pilot. Still another operates his own flying service in Florida, and dozens of them have acquired private pilot's licenses. Well, today, Del Norte High is showing the way to many other secondary schools across the nation. The aviation program now has an enrollment of about 60, a full-time flying instructor on the staff, complete ground school facilities, a link trainer, and, of course, its own Piper Tri-Pacer aircraft. So Del Norte County High School not only lofted aviation education off the ground, it is now leading a whole squadron of other secondary schools and training young people for what may be tomorrow's most important mode of transportation. Thanks, Nelson. There's...